Today, we're doing an amazing digital circus build challenge. But I'm going to be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive cane build. But little does my friend know, I'm going to be filling up the entire thing with traps to prank him. But now, let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world are you doing? Bubbles, you have to help me. I need to find this exit door. The exit door? I'll help you. Wait, really? Where is it? Let me just grab something from my inventory, and it's right there. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're going to be doing an amazing digital circus build challenge. Digital circus? But wait, what character are we building? We're building Kane. Kane? Um, isn't he that weird guy with the teeth? Weird guy? No, he's my favorite. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but wait a second. What side are you going to go on? The green side or the blue side? Well, since it's my favorite color, I'm going to go on the green side. The green side? That's my side. What the heck is that? Okay, okay, I'll go on the blue side then. And we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so you better get started. Go, go, go. Let's go! Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my yeah, our cane build just spawned in. It looks super good, and we're so ahead of GE right now. But there's no time to waste because we gotta fill this up with traps. For my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. And just to make sure that GE falls for it, we're actually gonna put it right inside of Kane's mouth right over here. Since this is the fake entrance, I'm gonna be making a lava parkour that's gonna be impossible to complete. So let's just cover Kane's mouth with a whole bunch of lava. We'll let it flow down for a second. And now we can start placing the springs that GE's gonna have to bounce on as his parkour. Place another one right over here, and we'll just make our way up toward the center. There we go, and we'll have it end right on this platform over here. And on this platform, there's gonna be a trap chest that GE's gonna think is the prize. But in reality, when GE goes to open up this chest, it's gonna spawn in a Medusa that's gonna instantly turn him into stone. Whoa, she looks super terrifying. Let's check if this parkour works real quick. Come on. Looks like it's working. And now let's open up this chest. And oh my goodness, we just got cut by Medusa. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he gets turned into stone. Make sure to stick around to see it happen. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. But before moving on to building our next trap, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly place one-way glass on the other side of the competition, so let me just break out a few blocks here just like this, and oh my goodness, we can see GE building his cane. Alright, just a few more blocks, and there we go, my cane looks so good. What do you think, Mr. Beetle? What the heck, why is GE talking to a beetle? He's definitely gone crazy. You don't like it? Get out of here! What the heck, GE's definitely gone insane. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill my entire build with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. TNT, are you serious right now and we only have eight minutes left so this is going perfect wait a second we only have eight minutes left i gotta quickly get back to my build done go 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 we gotta do this fast and since we already have the fake entrance up there it's time to put in the real one and where should i put it hmm let me ask kane kane where should i put the real entrance bubbles put it on my button in your button that's a perfect spot so let me just break out a few blocks like this and we'll cover it up with some ghost blocks so it's completely invisible whoa that is so hidden thank you kane for telling me to put it here but now we can go inside and start building our first trap. And for my first trap, GE's gonna have to pick between two different levers. The one on the green side of the room, or the one on the blue side of the room. If GE decides to pull the lever on the green side, it's gonna spawn in a bunch of these ancient warriors that he's gonna have to defeat with only this emerald sword over here. Let's just see how strong these warriors are, and oh my goodness, they're doing so much damage to me! Ah! I have no idea how GE's gonna be able to defeat them, but I guess we're gonna have to stick around to find out. But anyways, if GE decides to pick the lever on the blue side, it's actually gonna activate this secret iron door just like this. And then he'll be able to move on to the next part of the build. For my next trap, I'm going to be building a room where GE's going to have to make another super difficult decision. GE's going to have to decide if he wants to get across on the left side or on the right side. On the left side over here, he's going to have to swim through a whole bunch of hot lava. And if he chooses the right side over here, he's going to have to swim through this water. And I know you might be thinking that water is obviously the right answer. But in reality, if GE decides to swim in this water, he's going to get absolutely wrecked. Oh my goodness. It might look like regular water on the surface, but it's actually some poisonous water. And obviously, you can't swim through the lava either, so we're going to have to give GE a secret way to get across. For the secret way to get across, I'm actually gonna put a little hidden chest right here disguised as an emerald block. And inside of the secret chest, I'm actually gonna put a little grappling hook. If G is able to find this chest and get the grappling hook, he can use it to easily get across to the other side. Let's go! But just like that, and our second trap is completed. For the next obstacle that I'm gonna build, G is gonna have to fight a super dangerous mob boss. Let me build out the room real quick, and then we'll put down some iron bars to make sure that the mob doesn't escape. There we go. And now to help me spawn in this super insane mob boss, click that like and subscribe button in three, two, 
one. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, this guy looks absolutely terrifying. I have no idea how G is going to be able to defeat this guy. Just to make this fight more fair, we're going to give him a bunch of items in this chest right over here. But it's going to be password protected. Let's just make the password 789 and we'll just fill it up with a bunch of emerald armor, a shotgun, and five golden apples. This should definitely be enough for him to defeat this mob boss. But we need to give him a way to figure out the code. And I have just the perfect idea for that. Let's write the number 7 into the wall just like this, then put 8 right over here, and last but not least, 9 over on this wall. Leaving them out in the open is way too obvious, so we're gonna cover all these numbers with a whole bunch of paintings. The only way that G is gonna be able to find them is by breaking all these paintings. There we go, and looks like everything is covered up. Oh yeah, looks like our boss fight room is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect idea for a troll, so let me just fly up to the wall right here, and break out a few blocks. Holy smokes, we can see GE building. Whoa, my cane build is looking so good. I'm almost finished. Quick, while he's not looking, let's go in our inventory and grab an invisibility potion. And now GE can't see us anymore. Now I can fly all the way up to him and he won't even notice a thing. But I do want to set up a little prank for GE to fall for. So let me just place down an exit door with a pressure plate right over here. Then underneath this pressure plate, we're actually going to put in some TNT. Fill it up real quick. And now all we got to do is wait for GE to fall for it. Nice, my build is looking so good. And wait a minute, is that an exit door right over there? Guys, he noticed it. Finally, I can escape this digital circus build challenge. Let me just go up to the store right over here and wait a second. It's not leading anywhere. And what is that sound? Ah! No way, GE just blew up! And while he's busy respawning, I'm just gonna go into my inventory and grab a bazooka, and then we can blow up his build! Quick, run away, run away! Whoa, that was so weird, but at least I'm back in my build. What the heck just happened? No, 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 this can't be happening to me! My build, my build! Oh my goodness, GE has no idea that it was me! This is so bad, and we only have four minutes to finish this up. I gotta be fast! What did he say? We only have four minutes? I gotta quickly get back to my build then! Let's go! Alright, we gotta do this quick. For my next obstacle, I'm gonna be building the exit door from Digital Circus. First, let's make this room look like the Digital Circus tent. There we go, just like that. And now we can place down the forbidden exit door. Dun, dun, dun. Let's put down a sign on top that says exit. There we go. And then we'll place down a blue door on this side. The blue door is going to lead GE to the next room, but since he hates the color blue, I know he's not going to pick it. Now that that's all set up, we can start building the Digital Circus void. We'll start off with some abstracted glitching blocks just like this, and then we'll add this void block over it all. And holy moly, I feel like I'm going to be glitching out if I stand in here any longer. Get out, get out. I can't wait to see G's reaction when he walks through that exit door. But just like that, our digital circus tent room is completed. Hmm, let me move the blue door over here so it's easier for G to miss. Wait a second, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build this. For my next trap, G's gonna have to decide if he wants to jump down into the green slime or if he wants to jump down into the blue slime. Let's put the green slime on the left and the blue slime on the right. And since blue is such a beautiful, majestic color, it's gonna be the correct answer. And this nasty green is gonna be the wrong one. So let's go down and build a little trap. First, we're gonna make him land safely in water so he's gonna think he picked the right answer. But as soon as he goes behind this door, he's gonna be met with a bunch of these killer robots. And these guys do a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. Now that the trap is set up, we can jump down this blue slime safely and move on to building the last and final obstacle. For the final trap, GE must pick if he wants the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. We'll put some signs down to lead him in the right direction. Obviously, since green is the worst color between the two, the emerald treasure is gonna be the wrong answer. So let's just put a trap chest at the end. When GE goes to open up this chest, chest, it's gonna break the block right under him like this and he's gonna fall down. I think it'll be even funnier if he falls on a bunch of these super explosive mines. Let's just test if this works with the zombie and haha he exploded. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he falls on these mines. But now that we're done with the emerald treasure, let's move on to building the diamond treasure. If G decides to open up the chest on the correct diamond side, he's gonna find a chest filled with emeralds and poisonous potatoes, all of his favorite things. Let's fill it up all the way and just like that our cane build is completed. Wait, perfect timing, the timer just went off. Now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Now that the timer is up, which build are we checking out first? Well, since my build's obviously way better than yours, we should check out mine. Okay, GE, it's definitely not better than mine, but I guess we could check yours out. Prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. This is my awesome cane build. And whoa, GE, this is actually not bad. But why in the world is his suit green, GE? Uh, because Kane loves the color green, remember? He definitely does not like green because it's the world's stinkiest color. Stinky? Uh, don't you mean green is 
the most stunning, astonishing, amazing color in the entire world. I don't even know what half of those words mean, Chi, but how do I even get into this thing? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color, but there's just a whole bunch of green. Wait a second. I think I see some blue right down there. Let me just click around and looks like I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. You found it. But now that you're inside the entrance, you have to get past my super deadly dangerous lava parkour. Are you serious right now, Chi? This is the easiest parkour I've ever seen in my life. Uh, no, it's not, Bubbles. This parkour is actually really hard, see? What the heck, GE? You suck. I could definitely complete this my first try. All right, then let's see it. Let me just quickly make these jumps just like this. And look at that, GE. I'm already done. Wait, what? How did he do that first try? Because I'm a level 10 parkour pro. Uh, fine. I guess you are good at parkour. So open up the door and get your prize. Let's go. I could collect my prize already. Let me just open up this chest and... Wait, GE, there's literally nothing in here. And what is that sound? And why is there lava coming down? Haha. <laughs> Are you serious right now, GE? Yes, I'm serious right now. You just fell for the fake entrance. The fake entrance? Well, then where's the real one? I didn't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. What the heck? Is it in his eyeball over here? And nope. Nope. Is it in Kane's teeth right over here? Doesn't look like it. Nah. -uh. GE, I can't find this real entrance. Can you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys. I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, GE, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me the hint. Wait, what? How did they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. Fine, I mean, they are really cool, so I guess I'll show you the real entrance. And I have no idea how you didn't see it, because it's literally right inside of his elbow. What in the world? It's literally out in the open. How did I not find this? But well, let me just open this door and walk right inside. What the heck is this, GE? Welcome to the first room, where you're gonna have to choose between a blue button and a green button. The blue and the green? Well, I'm more interested in what's inside this chest, so let me just grab whatever's inside. Looks like I got some armor and a wooden sword. Nice shot, Bubbles, but what button are you pressing? Um, well, since we already established that green is a stinky color, I'm gonna press this blue one. All right, so let's see. And wait a second, it's a slime. Haha, <laughs> and he's green too. Ew, no wonder it smells in here. Come on, come on, just a few more hits. And just like that, I took out all the slimes, GE. Nice shot, Bubbles, and they even dropped these slime balls too. Oh, uh, what the heck? Stop throwing those at me, please, stop. Are you serious right now? Why are you scared of slime? Slime balls. Stop it, GE. Ew. <laughs> get those away from me. Fine, Bubbles. I'll get those away from you if you press the green button. Okay, okay. Let me just press this button and we can move to the next room. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you're in this room, you're gonna have to choose between the blue door and the green door. Are you serious right now, GE? Picking between blue and green again? Yup. And are you finally gonna choose the best answer once and for all? I have a feeling you would make green the right answer, but I gotta stick with my gut, GE, and go with blue. And look at that, GE. I was right. There's a chest right over there. Nice. So go pick it up then. All right, here I go. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Were those ghost blocks? Yup. And now you have no choice but to choose the most bestest, awesomest color in the entire world. Ah, uh, I should have just went with green in the first place. All right, GE. And looks like I made it to some weird parkour with a whole bunch of creepers. Yup. This parkour is weird. All right. It's literally the Ohio parkour. What the grimace is going on? Ohio parkour or not, I'm going to make it through it. All right. But let's see if you can make it to the end. Let's make these easy jumps at the start start just like this. And oh no, I already fell. Oh, stop. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I fell there, but I think I found a little shortcut for the parkour. And what's that, Bubbles? I can skip these jumps and jump right over here. Wait, what? That's cheating. Oh my goodness. All those Ohio creepers are down there ready to blow me up. I got to quickly make it through. Let me just jump on these ladders just like this. And come on, we did it. Oh yeah. Good job, Bubbles. You didn't get blown up, but now that you made it across, you can make it to my super scary skeleton man. Whoa, it looks like it's Halloween up in here, but GE, this is not a maze. It's so easy. I'm already done with it. Wait, what? How in the world did he finish it that fast? Are you serious right now? Haha, <laughs> and now I can collect my prize. And wait a second, a shotgun with ammo? That's not my prize. Yep, because your prize is actually right here. What the heck, GE? I didn't even see that. Well, let me just press this button and what the heck? There's a bunch of cave spiders. Get them, spiders. Get them. Come on, I just got to use my shotgun. I'm taking them out. I'm taking them out. And oh no, I'm stuck in this web. 
Bob, come on. And who? I think I took them all out. I'll give you that, Bubbles. You didn't die, but you still have to find a way out of here. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Let me just break out some of these blocks over here. And what the heck? There's literally nothing. Well, there's definitely a way out of here, Bubbles. You just gotta think outside of the box. Wait a second. I think I have an idea. Let me just break this button right over here. And then we'll use it to open up this iron door over here. Nice job, Bubbles. You figured it out. And now you can just keep walking across to make it to the next room. Oh, yeah. I'm the best. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. There's no way you put a trap there. That's so mean. But you know what? Since I'm 400 IQ, I'm just gonna jump on this bench right over here and make it over. Good job, but you know you could have just jumped over, right? Wait, what? Uh, I, I definitely knew that. I just wanted some extra style points. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go to the next room, GE. Uh, okay. Well, you're locked in this room with over 100 buttons and only one of them is getting you out of here. With 100 buttons? This is gonna take years to find. But wait a second, GE. Why is there a red button over here? It looks kind completely different from all the other ones. Isn't it so big, red, and shiny? Don't you totally want to press it? Well, now that you say that, I'm having an urge to press it. Are you gonna do it? Uh, uh, I can't take this anymore. I'm just gonna press it. Are you serious right now? You just died and- Wait, what the heck, Bubbles? Did you just poop? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, GE. You're so gross, Bubbles, but there's still 99 more buttons you have to press. Oh my goodness, let me just start pressing a bunch of these buttons. Come on. Hold up, wait a minute. Why is there a blue one right here? Wait, a blue button? Oh, I forgot I had to put the most stinkiest button in the entire world. Stinkiest button? Blue is literally the best color. Uh, the best color? Let me see about that. <laughs> Ew, this thing totally stinks. You suck, GE, and blue is the best, so I'm just gonna- gonna press this button and why am I in the void? <laughs> There's no way you just died two times in a row, Bubbles. And since you're having such a hard time, I'll give you a hint. Yes, please give me a hint. The right button is the best color in the entire world. Oh my goodness, G. Are you serious? Is there a green button in here somewhere? Let me just look around and... No way, there was a green button here the whole time? Yup, there is. Don't you totally want to press it now? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to if I want to get my prize. So let me just press this stinky green button and move on to the next level. But wait, G. Why is there so much green? in this room. I don't want to touch any of it. Because green is the best color ever. Um, it's definitely not, and I'm seriously not going to touch any of this green. Ew. Let me see if I can make it to the end without touching any of it. Come on, just jump on this cobblestone. And holy moly, I was really close to touching that green. Stop being so extra, Bubbles. The exit's literally right over here. Gee, it's not that simple. I really don't want to touch this nasty color. Come on, let me just jump around this corner. And whew, I did it. But Gee, how am I supposed to get through the exit without touching green? Well, I have a good idea, Bubbles. You can just get off of this cauldron and make it through. Oh no, well if that's the only way, then I guess I'll have to do it. Come on, come on. Ew, 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 ew. <sighs> oh my gosh, you're such a saucy baka, Bubbles, but now that you made it to the end, you can choose between the blue treasure and the green treasure. The blue and the green? Well, I definitely don't want to be touching green again, so I'm just gonna go down the blue one. Alright, so let's see what's inside. It's probably some diamonds, and wait, what is happening? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. What the heck, GE? I just got eaten by a bunch of Sharks. Yep, and that only leaves you with one more option, the green side. Ew, G, I don't want to touch green again. Um, well, you're gonna have to, unless you don't want your treasure, of course. Wait, what? No, I want the treasure, I want the treasure. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Come on. Let's see, and it's a bunch of diamonds, blue crystals, and rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait, what? I didn't think you'd actually eat it. Mm-mm-mm, it's almost as good as the Grimace Shake. I love the Grimace Shake, but now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Of course you can, G, let's go check it out. Out. Let's go. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me see. And oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This is my beautiful and amazing cane build. Doesn't he look so cool? He looks so big. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. We'll see about that, Bubbles. But how do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's somewhere up. Maybe it's inside of his mouth. And aha, there's a spring parkour right here. Looks like you found the entrance, but can you make it past the parkour? Uh, well, obviously, I'm a parkour pro, remember? Let's see. Let me just make this jump right here and then over there and then keep going. Come on, come on, come on. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just fell. Well, I can explain this, Bubbles. It was just the test run. I'm totally gonna make it this time. Well, you better not fall again because you did say you're a professional. And I made it. Let's go. No way. I guess second time was the charm. I guess you can open up this chest and collect your prize. Collect my prize? Say less. I'm just gonna open up this chest real quick and wait a second what the heck is this you just got turned into stone <laughs> bubbles i can't respond what the heck is that 
have because you just got turned to stone by Medusa. This is so unfair, but wait a second. Bubbles, is this a fake entrance? Yeah, it is, GE. I don't know how you fell for it. Oh my gosh, I guess I have to find the real one now. Maybe it's inside of his hand and no. Nope. Or is it inside of his hat? Not even close. Uh, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Nope, I'm not gonna tell you where it is, GE. Are you sure about that? Oh, uh, uh, what the heck is that? Put that away. I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. Ah! Gee, I have no idea how you didn't find it. It's right inside of Kane's button over here. Wait, what? Uh, I should have known. Well, now that you're inside, are you going to pull the green lever or the blue lever? Mm -hmm. Let me think about this super carefully. I'm going to pull the green lever. Let's go. And wait a second. What the heck are these? These warriors just spawned in to destroy you, GE. What the heck are they yapping about? Get out of here. No way. You're actually getting them all. Did he just run out? Get out of here. What the heck? You didn't even die. Yup, because I'm the best. Ah, uh, whatever, GE. I guess you're left to pull the blue lever. Whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll pull it. And nice. There we go. Welcome to the next obstacle. Are you gonna swim across in the lava or swim across in the water? The lava or the water? Well, isn't this the easiest choice ever? I'm gonna go in the water. Let's go. And wait a second. What the? You just fell from my trap. Haha, <laughs> GE. That's actually poisonous water. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Wait a second. This must be fake lava then, right? Jump in and find out. I'm so ready to jump in. This is gonna be just like a bubble bath. Let me make this jump right over here. And let's go. And wait a second. Ow, 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 ow. Haha, <laughs> you just died two times in a row. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? This room's literally impossible. Maybe there's another secret way to get across. Another secret way? Hmm, let me look real quick. Are you gonna find it? Come on, just keep punching around. And there we go. Oh, there's a webhook launcher inside of here. Yep, and you can use it to swing across. All right, so let me just put in this super cool mask first and then use this webhook launcher. And I made it. Let's go. Good job, GE. Now you can open up this door and move on to the next level. All right. Right, let me see what's inside and what the heck is that a mutant hoglin yep and you're gonna have to fight him wait what with just my bare hands yeah obviously with what else wait what the are you serious right now i'm just messing with you ge there's a bunch of gear that you can use in this chest all right so let me just open it up and oh my gosh what the goodness there's literally a password yep i wasn't gonna make it that easy for you i hid the password somewhere in this room and you're gonna have to find it somewhere in this room hmm let me see hmm well there are a bunch of paintings in here here and wait a second is that among us yeah doesn't he look so sussy yeah i think that's literally a sussy imposter right over here i'm gonna break it let's go and wait a second it just fell off the wall yep are you onto something g i think i am i'm gonna break every single painting in this room let's go looks like you're figuring it out and wait a second the number eight that's one of the numbers in the code all right so let me break all of these paintings which reveals a seven. Oh, so there must be one more number here then i'm gonna break the rest of these paintings let's go and it shows the number nine. I can't believe you actually figured that out. But now you can put the code into the chest and collect your gear. All right, so let me just type in seven, eight, nine. And oh my goodness, we have an emerald armor, a shotgun, and some golden apples. They're all for you. Whoa, don't it look so cool in this armor? Yep, and you look ready for battle as well. So the walls are dropping in three, two, one, fight! Alright, bring it on, Mutant Hoglin, and what the heck? He did so much damage right over there. He is super duper strong. Get him! And wait a second, I just died! Haha. <laughs> Maybe I can use my shotgun against him. Come on, get over here! And wait a second, did he just spawn a bunch of regular Hoglins? What the heck? And they're all after you! Oh no, this is so bad. These mobs are only in Ohio. Oh, only in Ohio. Oh. And it looks like you're doing a ton of damage to the Hoglin. And I got him. Let's go! Nice job, GE. You did it. Yeah, I did. And he even dropped this tusk right over here. That's super duper cool. But now you can open up this trap door and move on to the next level. Let's go. And wait a second. Are we literally in the amazing digital circus right now? GE, welcome to the amazing digital circus. Which door are you going to go in? The exit door or this blue door? The amazing exit door or the ugly blue door? Uh, well, that's the easiest choice ever, right? I'm going to go in the exit door. Let's go. And wait a second. What in the grim is this? happening to me. Uh, oh no, GE just traveled into the void. Uh, he just died. Okay, what the heck was that, Bubbles? Did you trap me in the void? Yeah, I mean, you did choose to go through the exit door and that's what's behind it. Fine, so I guess I'll go in this blue door over here. Let me just open it up and nice. Nice, GE, but now you're gonna have to pick if you wanna jump down the green slime or jump down the blue slime. The green or the blue slime? Well, obviously I'm gonna go in the blue slime. Psych, I'm going in the green one. Let's go. What the heck? You scared me. 
hide there. I thought you were really gonna go in the blue one. Well, obviously not. I'm gonna open up this door and get my treasure. Let's go and wait a second. What the heck is happening? Are these a bunch of mecha robots? What the heck? Yep, and they're destroying you. Haha, <laughs> green was the wrong answer. Fine, I guess I'll go down the blue slime, but wait a second. Can't I literally just break this? Um, that would be cheating, GE. You have to jump to the slime. Uh, I don't think so, Bubbles. I'm gonna break it. Let's go. What the heck? Whatever, GE. Welcome to the last and final obstacle. Are you gonna choose the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure? The emerald or the diamond? Wait, what's with all these blue or green questions? Nothing, GE. Just hurry up and pick. Uh, 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 uh. This is the hardest decision of all time. I'm gonna go for the emerald treasure. Let's go. Nice. All right, so let me just open it up real quick and wait a second. What the? You just blew up. Ow, ow, ow. I can't believe you just fell for that, GE. The emerald treasure is obviously the wrong one. Uh, does that mean I have to go through the diamond treasure? Yep, if you wanna collect your prize. Fine, I guess I'll start walking this way and open up my treasure. What's inside? <laughs> Whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes. They're all for you, GE. Yummy, yummy, and my tummy, tummy. All right, GE, now that we checked out each other's builds, whose do you think is better? Well, looking carefully at both of our builds, I think that mine is better. What the? No, mine is better. Wait, what? Then who wins? Hmm, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment, GE. No, everyone comment bubbles. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, click the video on screen. Go, click it, click it. Bye. Bye. Are you serious right now?